they always say dream big. I already built a satellite where I am in high school and I'm gonna be leading a lot of women behind me or with me to the space industry. On October 16th, three years ago, we were chosen to be the face of the new revolution that you are sending their own friggin' prints to space along with other seven groups around the country. We learned, explored about space, about the satellites, about how everything works all in together. The pieces came in Ramadan, so we needed to build it during the day that we were fasting in it from dawn to the night. We didn't take any breaks. Building the satellite itself, working on the software itself with as groups, with people we didn't know, with material we didn't study before. We met a lot of dead ends, but at the end of the day we managed to make it happen. In the day that we sent the satellite in Herzliya, I cried because uh, two year, three years of working was finally over. You have to have feet on the ground and you have to have eyes to the sky. And these students remain today resilient. In spite of all challenges, they are here to continue. We met the American author, Dan Brown. He told me that I can't wait to see, to see in the news that you, the people of Israel, the people of Nazareth, Arabs are sending their own satellites to space. I mean, that's massive.